All right, now let's go through and create your first real game. The game you'll be making is Steam City Defense, which I and a couple of other people worked on for the uh, Steampunk Dice Game Challenge a while back. Notice that I went to Edit Details after starting a new custom board or card game. It's designed to be a four-player game, no real mature content. I'm putting in a price of $14.99 as a placeholder for now. Later that will turn out to be wrong. So one of the first things we're going to be adding is stickers. This game uses both token stickers and die stickers. We also have a decorative box top sticker. Like with the other files and component types, you add a component, then you're going to click the tan symbol with the paper clip to get into the file structure. Find the Steam City Defense folder, the stickers folder. This is in file set B. Then we're going to start adding tokens. We actually have two tokens for, or two stickers for each token. One for the front and one for the back but we're going to have to make those individually unlike say the shards which are designed to be double-sided. The trim lines here, like the trim lines on the playing cards, show you what you're going to lose of the image. The blue area you'll keep theoretically but it's there in case the printing gets off-center so you don't lose the important part. Again, the game crafter can be a bit temperamental when you're clicking on buttons. Don't wait too long, but don't push it either. You need to proof each image that you use individually. Even if you use the same image in multiple games, you'll have to proof it each time you add it as a component. So there are six types of tokens with two faces each. So 12 tokens added one at a time. It can be a bit tedious, but under the old system, it was the only way to go about things. This time I'm going to actually try to pre-name the sticker. You can do it if you like. I find it's a bit of a pain in the neck. because then it's going to have that same name there the next time you try to add a sticker. You may have noticed the turn print color filter off. I played around with that a bit on the first token. It's not completely representative, but it does give you some idea of what the sticker will look like. Let's see, I deleted the name there, but now I'm just going to have to add something else. It's perfectly fine having a default name or even the same name for multiple components. 
but it has to have a name for the component. You'll also notice that I've been altering the quantity because in addition to there being six types of tokens, there's more than one of each token. Though actually, Steam City Defense only uses four of each type of token. So choosing the folder that I'm doing now is choosing a folder for importing tokens. That's a mass upload. It will name the token based off the file name of the picture and it will find any picture of the appropriate size. You'll notice a couple of things. One, there will be an error message if it encounters an image of the wrong size. We won't have that here because the folder was properly sorted. You'll also notice that it will use an image even if you've already uploaded that image. So if you're going to do a mass upload or importing of files from the file structure, just go ahead and do that from the get-go because otherwise you're going to have to go through and delete the pieces that you've already put up. Now, you'll still have to proof them individually. Unfortunately, there isn't a way yet to proof them in a batch. You'll notice I'm adjusting the quantity this time, four of each. I could actually do more because there will be more token stickers printed on the page than what I'm using. Uh, I could also leave the token stickers blank, draw on them with markers, keep them around for future projects. Uh, generally, I would prefer to print a couple extras of each so that people have spares if they wear off or if a mistake is made when they apply them. One of the downsides to the print-on-demand system that the Game Crafter offers is the person who buys the game is going to have to apply all of the stickers themselves. With a game like this, it can be a little time-consuming 